So what is the, the concept for your next album? Uh, we sort of been toying with the idea of doing something sort of based around uh, ironically, my heritage and, and partly Mike Dion's here as well, which is uh, it's a French Acadian. Uh, we're, we're French Acadian descendants, and there was a, there's a, a thing called the expulsion of the Acadians, which happened in 1755. A lot of dark, dark, crazy things happened in that period. Like there was, you know, uh, family slaughtered. There was like complete communities burned out and chased from their towns. It was like guerrilla warfare in the woods. Uh, it was. It's really funny talking about this serious subject with face paint on, but. You don't hear a lot of people talking about local history. It's all about, you know, what happened overseas or what happened at these huge points in history. You kind of forget what happened in your own backyard. But a lot of people don't know about that aren't in the community. Because, like, you know, when we, we used to tour a lot, and uh, it sort of came happen naturally where people would ask us about where we're from. And people would say, you start telling people about this and a lot of Canadians had no idea so it's sort of a way to bring awareness there's a lot of cool imagery I think that we can take from that with our music uh, and that's sort of like what we're going to do This is our first uh, recording experience where we're not paying with like a ham sandwich and a case of beer. We recorded live off the floor and we were gonna take a few days to do overdubs. And it's funny because it's just, it's all I know. Like that's the process we've had since uh, day one. None of us are really that great musicians. We just kind of like know how to play off of each other and, and have that dynamic, I guess. One thing I really want to do is get out of the city and the Commons Lodge is this beautiful studio on the shore in, the, in River Port. And we pretty much had a, a finished record by the time we walked down that studio, which is a testament too to Diego uh, Medina's talent as an engineer, because he was you know, really efficient and really quick, but also he knew what we wanted and he knew how to get it quickly. So the, we, when you have that kind of trust in someone, it really lets you concentrate on what you're doing a lot easier. And you're going to have Steven do the artwork for it? Yeah, well, Steven's a very talented artist, and he's recently joined the band, and I'd like to exploit all the members as, uh, as, as much as I can. And he's, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to send, I'm gonna send him some, some books and some crazy stories to kind of draw off, but basically, like, it's carte blanche. I kind of went with uh, just some more raw watercolor ink type style, kind of like a kid's book drawing, you know what I mean? Like, it was a good experiment, and I think it worked. Yeah. It was really cool to have, that was the first time I ever got to do a, a vinyl cover too, so it's, it's big, nice to look at, I like it. Keeping it with the ambiguity of the band name we wanted to, and the music, we wanted to keep the album in a way that if you knew, if you read the press about the album and you knew what it was about, you would get that. But also if you picked it up at a thrift sh shop for $5 and took it home, it wouldn't necessarily hurt your experience listening to it, not knowing where it came from but it might in inspire you to go dig deeper. And we wanted to have something there for the audience to find when they did that. friends 